Well, today is one of those days and Murphy's Law definitely applies. What can go wrong will go wrong. It's just now, it's, it's, it's about noon right now. Central Texas, Central East Texas. I have planned on for over a week to take four or five or six days off. I want to catch up on a bunch of new posts, new videos. I want to finish my crypto predictions, which I released last night. I've already gotten some really good favorable feedback on that. Uh, things I discovered in the office algorithm, how crypto coins were moving, apparently is how they're supposed to move. I don't know. I don't know anything about the crypto markets, but uh, the feedback I'm getting is they're telling me that, man, I'm, I'm seeing exactly how coins flow. That's exactly what they do. They flow in, clu they flow in clusters. But uh, aside from all that, I've already released all that detailed information in the uh, Office Subscribers Only video. And you guys will get that email today. But, oh my God, when you make plans, God turns into a jester, a wicked jester. You know what? Uh, I, I pride myself on my ability to be versatile, help people out. You know what I mean? It doesn't really cost me anything to come help you build a fence, to come help you clear out your attic. It doesn't really cost me anything but time. time. I understand time is valuable. In my case, it is right now because I wanted to sit down and just, and I'm going to, it just, this delayed me a couple days. I don't like having to eat crow. I do not like having to go back on my work. I put it out there in archaics that, man, we're fixing a power post, release all new stuff this weekend. And we are, I'll do some tonight and I'll do a lot tomorrow because of now, now my calendar's free. But to this morning, it was my intent to get up, make my cup of coffee, and all day long, I was gonna just put out some new profound material. I wasn't gonna nothing on, on Nemesis X object, nothing on Phoenix, nothing on any of the material that you guys have ever heard me put out. I wanna release some more stuff. I got a lot of material. None of that happened. Early in the morning, I got people, neighbors needing help. All right, go help them. 8 o'clock, 8, 8 a.m. comes, I get up early. 8 a.m. comes around, and now I don't have time, time to even get started on what I wanna do. Because once a month, I have to go to this dump site to get this crap off my property out of this van. I only have, It's a one-shot deal. They don't charge, so I, I go. I went at 8 o'clock. I went one minute too late because the truck that pulled out in front of me pulled out with a castle in the back of it. I sat there for an hour and a half and waited for one little old guy to unload all that. I was pissed. I ain't gonna lie, I was pissed. Ordinarily, it's in my character type to get out of my van, run over there and help somebody out, especially an old guy. But no, I saw what, what, he, what was being unloaded. This man, this man had collected junk from so many different places and probably charged them all, all a fee for doing that. They came out here with no help. You're supposed to bring help to the work, to, to the dump site. Somebody's supposed to help you. So all ever, this whole long line of people that's behind us can also get in there before noon. No. This greedy bastard got in front of line, got in, got in the line in front of everybody else, and just kidnapped us there. And me, I'm stubborn. I don't even care. Uh, when I see what kind of character type you are, I see it. Now you know what? You're not getting no help from me. Yeah, it's, it's over with. Unless you need hospital attention, man, don't expect nothing from me. That's how my day started. Then I unloaded all mine. By the time I was done unloading it, somebody's blowing up my phone, needing something. I happen to be the only person in, in God's creation that has it. So I, oh my God. I have, I, I have already forgotten half of, the, half, half of the negative things that have happened to me this morning. Absolutely crazy. I'm in the van now going somewhere because a very dear friend of mine, y'all know his name, is having car trouble. He lives an hour and 10 minutes away from me. I'm on my way there right now because this was the morning he chose to get up and do all his monthly shot. He only leaves the, he only leaves his little property. He lives way out of the country too. He only leaves his property once a, once a month and he buys everything. Well, here I am. I, I'm sorry guys if I sound a little bitter. I really, I was really excited about releasing a whole bunch of new material. It's still gonna get released tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday, but it's just, you know what? I worked my ass off on Flagstone all week long to get, to get four or five days off people man just getting in the way it's uh and i know i know i sound i know i sound 
I sound effed up. I know it. I know I do. But uh, I got my latest. My latest flagstone job might be my last. I'm moving away from that type of work. I will continue to run Paradise Rock Gardens, but I won't be going on the jobs. I got somebody else now. Starting next year is going to be doing that in January. We've pretty much hit our off season. Every year for the past three years, we do Christmas lights because nobody's investing in their yards. Especially, I'm not a typical landscaper, I'm a stonescaper. If what you want doesn't involve some type of rock, rock, stone, mortar, tile, tile, pavers, you know, flagstone, I'm not gonna do it. I deal just in rock. My last job is fantastic. Softscape flagstone with rainbow rock and a fire pit and a total, total designer fire pit I've never designed, done before. I will post those pictures in arcades today too. When I'm on my way out here, help him out, which I did not expect to do today. But you know what? If this would have been the only thing that happened today, <laughs> I would have never even made this video as a rant. I'd have never mentioned it. Just so many things, it's so crazy. Just so crazy. Uh, all my bills are paid. It's, it's not like that. It's Sometimes, and maybe, maybe, and maybe, maybe by virtue of long-term confinement, maybe I'm wrong and I just see things differently. But I feel when people are borrowing too much of my attention, they're stealing from me. They're stealing my life essence. They're taking away from me something I can't get back. And uh, it's not money. Well, money and material possessions have never had a hold on me. I don't really care. But my time is valuable. And when people start getting in the way of, of, of the things I'm trying to, to do and accomplish, to me it feels like robbery. It feels like, man, you just stole from me. I can't believe I just walked away without punching you in the mouth. You just stole something I can never get back, man. It's just, it's weird. You know what, this is probably the only video, I'm gonna release this video no matter what, even if I feel totally differently an hour from now. It's probably the only video I've ever done in over 210 videos now where I had just ranted and been so negative. And what's crazy is I woke up with an absolutely positive attitude, about to make my cup of coffee, and I'm just ready to go. And it's just dominoes, one after another, after another, after another. So I'm on my way. I know I got the, I'm on, I'm on this hour and 10 minute drive. So I said, you know what? My van has been, we've been using my van all week to work. You know what? I, I got to clean this van. This van is pathetic. So I don't know if you can see behind me, the van is absolutely clean back here. We have completely emptied it out. But, uh, the outside of the van looks terrible. So I, I have a I have a pet peeve about that. I want I want to be proud proud of driving the van. It's a 2017 van. I only owe three thousand dollars left on a brand new 2017 van. I am very proud of that accomplishment. But all uh, I'm just ranting, I guess. Anyway. I went to the Willis Car Wash. Two things happened, back to back. I keep quarters in my van. But I didn't have any quarters, so I had to go get them. Get the quarters, I put them in the machine. I pull up into the same stall I always pull up, pull up into. I put every single quarter into the machine. And water starts spewing out the ceiling and I look up and the attachments have come loose. There is no way to turn the machine off. This is a self-serve car wash. There's nobody attending it. There are no phone numbers, no contact information to contact anybody. Just to rant and tell them, hey man, your car wash is a piece of shit, it's all falling apart. I almost picked up the gun and the brush, which is not even attached to anything. The water's just free falling out. And I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna steal nothing. Can't do nothing with it anyway. I'll leave it here, they were on the ground. So I took my camera out on my phone the same one you're watching me on right now. And I thought I recorded. I left a nice little old recording. Say, hey, this is the this is Will, Willis Car Wash and Willis Fias on, on 1097. This is the place right here. I turned and took a picture of their business sign. And uh, you know what? I was going to post it on Facebook on a bunch of the local groups I'm on. That's not going to happen. Because by the time I was driving away, about two minutes before I started recording this rant, I looked on my phone and evidently I had turned my video on, but I didn't turn my video recorder on. So I got none, I got none of that. 
So here I am in a long extended cab. I got an extended uh, 2017 Chevy, Chevy Express extended van. It's, a, it's the extra long version. Here I am going down 1097 to Central East Texas toward my homeboy's house in a van covered in soap. Because <laughs> all I could use was a brush that, that put soap out. Oh my God. All right. My rant's over with, guys. One of those days. So, <clears throat> NFL's tomorrow. I already released my NFL predictions. And every single week that goes by, we're just, just like last year, we're going to get... We're going to get more and more and more accurate with the predictions. The more data I have, the more I have to dance with. Same thing with the crypto. I had to, I had to have a couple guys educate me on the crypto for me to be able to fully understand what it is that these guys were looking for. Once I understood, I was able to put out some genius material last night in the, in the, in the old subscribers only video. So, guys, I do have a lot more videos than you know. Uh, but they're for the open subscribers. And I know a lot of you are not really interested in that. You're not interested in the crypto predictions. You're not interested in, in the sports predictions or in personal. I've done a lot of personal predictions for subscribers. They ask me things about their business, about real estate, about even, even their kids. Uh, people ask me different things. And if they have the dates for me to, to run algorithms on, I'll do it. And I can tell them their windows of opportunity of when, when, they, when nature is moving with them. Because the greatest hindrance to anything that we're trying to accomplish in life is not is not inactivity it's expending energy on the wrong wrong days you can't just do whatever you want to do on the right days but like today today is a perfect example that of nature moving against you there are days when you have to see the signs you have to understand so listen today is a day for me to relax maybe i can open a book open up a book and try to try to learn something Today is not a day for me to try to move forward on many of the things that I'm trying to move forward in life because everything is against you. You have to know your days of opposition. Now, I learned a long time ago, I released a video called Your Biometric Life. If you have not seen that video, you will understand what I'm talking about. But uh, there are days that, that, like I'm having right now, where your polarity is off. I am completely today out of sync with everything that I'm trying to accomplish. If I was in resonance with the things that I was trying to accomplish, then none of these things that are creating dissonance would have happened. It's as simple as that. Not every day of your life is a, is a Nike day. Just do it. It's not. Life is about ebb and flow. If the ocean only put, put forth crests and there was no trolls, if there was no ebb and flow, then the, then the sea would overtake the land. But there's always an ebb and flow. Even, even with pulsars way out in space, even, even with variant luminaries way out in space, every single thing has an ebb and flow. So, we're basically in life, we're confronted with the situation that we need to take a closer look at our own lives on a daily basis and realize when when we are in sync with what we want those are the times to move that's when mountains get get moved in your life when you're feeling like doing something and everything around you begin begins to align with what you're trying to do and bring people and things and circumstances into your life to get that accomplished you need to ride that wave out you need to continue doing what you need to do because you're in resonance with what you want. Me, today, I allowed, I allowed other people to create interference patterns in my life. It's not the activity of them requesting help or requesting my attention. That's not it. It's, it's my attitude in response to that. They need something from me and I'm, I'm more than willing, but on this one occasion, I had specifically told many people that I'm taking four or five days off and I really thought that would translate. Hey, leave me the F alone. But it didn't. Instead, every single individual that I had told that to has needed some type of attention from me today. So, yes, I had, yes, I had an attitude. The rest of my day seems to be going negatively because of the attitude, not because they requested my, my attention, 
my problem is me and your problem is you so basically I didn't mean to turn this this video into a lesson this video began as a rant I had no idea I was gonna go in this direction but then again I know me know I didn't even know I was gonna be doing this video because I didn't know I was gonna be on the road today there I go again complaining I've got dear friends that I, I want to talk to and it just seemed and it seemed to I mean the immediate people in my life have all been there but the, the people that are not immediate in my life people I want to catch up with I want to talk to I want to kick it with Stephen Walsworth is a friend of mine I want to talk to him I haven't got on the phone and be able to just talk to him I ain't sit down and be able to do that I want to talk to Stephen Walsworth I want to talk to Tessa in Canada real bad I want to catch up with her and see what's going on in her life I want, I want, to, I want to kick it you know what I mean I've got friends outside of my immediate life I got Monica who just survived two category four category five hurricanes and is going through all kinds of stuff is a very good friend of mine we have actually spent hours on the phone together she has taught me things about my own body and, and, and from the from the medical field perspective specialist yeah i mean she's got me drinking special concoctions that are actually making me feel fantastic maybe i should share a video maybe i should interview mom or, or just have a discourse with monica and do a video if you guys are interested in that i can have monica oh uh, oh uh, on the channel and just she and i will do a video just openly talking talking but she taught me how to make a brew and man i'm telling you now i can feel my immune system is awesome i can feel my energy levels are great i'm drinking i'm drinking one or two of these cups a day <coughs> but uh she taught me all 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 about how poisonous iodinized salt is the the regular white table salt and how if you're gonna and you should always use Himalayan pink salt for everything because it's got 39 minerals in there that, that the other salt doesn't have and everything that the human body needs how to make a mixture with ginger and, and honey and uh, uh, apple cider vinegar uh, Himalayan salt lemon lemon how to mix all this together with a couple quarts of water man and it's a concentrate and whatever my favorite juice is of the day sometimes I like apple juice so I'll make a cup of apple juice and put about that much of this special brew in there that, that Monica uh, in Louisiana taught me how to make. And I feel great. I feel fantastic. I come in from working and sweating my ass off. I drink a whole water bottle with, with that mixture in it mixed with lemonade. <coughs> and it puts all those nutrients and all, all that stuff back in my body. I mean, I got things I want to do in life. And sometimes I just feel that other people don't respect that. And they get, and they get in my way. And then I feel guilty. Then I feel guilty for, for even feeling that they're getting in my way. But man, I have when I was when I was in prison, no one got in my way. They already knew. I dealt with people totally different in prison than I deal with them now. When I was in the joint, guys already knew me. I mean, you, you don't survive 26 years in prison without being able to read people. If people read me very well, they, they knew hey, that, that guy, he's gonna be reading and writing, he's gonna be doing his thing, leave him alone. Because if you mess with him and he loses his concentration on what he's trying to do, he's going to get up and hit you in the mouth. He doesn't care if he's going to win or not. But he's going to promise you, you're not going to interrupt his work again. And I used to take up the table and, and, and do my thing and people left me alone. They knew. They knew there was something wrong with me. Because there is. There is. There's no doubt about it. I am the first to admit that I'm not just socially retarded. I'm, I mean, I've got things wrong with me. I mean, I spent years in prison just deep deep in my in my reading and my research I said they read and write and then you know somebody and if somebody got in my way I responded with violence I made sure that that every single person in that day room knew what they were signing up for if they if they if they come over there and mess with me while I was trying to do paperwork so I mean don't get me wrong no badass there's some real badasses in prison but you know you don't have to win your fights you just have to be willing to dot somebody's eye or cross somebody's teeth. And if you're willing to do that, most people just leave you alone. So, I mean, that was, that was when I was first on this journey. Later on, I changed. And I began teaching. I began giving dissertations in prison. I began giving speeches. Oh, wardens, majors, lieutenants, captains, captains. They started giving a deeper appreciation for what I was doing. And they, and they realized, man, I'm really, I, that, that, guy, that guy Jason, he's really trying to educate these guys. 
He's not, he's not doing no anti-establishment, anti, uh, you know, anti-prison administration BS. I'm talking about things we don't even understand. So they would let me. I would fill up the gyms. I, I, I would just make an announcement and just post it on bulletin boards. Hey, man, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Be in the gym, man. I'm, I'm going to be going off. Sometimes I say, hey, man, Friday night. Y'all don't want to go watch movies or lay up with your little boyfriends, whatever you're doing on your cell blocks. I'll be in the gymnasium, man, from 9 to midnight. It's a freestyle. Whatever you ask, I'm going to answer. I used to do that all the time. And the prison guards loved it. They loved it. Sometimes they would shut me down. I think I was getting out of control. Maybe I had too much power or, or influence with the main body politic the prisoners. But overall, overall, things run smooth. So now turning this video into a lesson, I recognize in me the flaws in my personality and my character. I know that I respond I respond to stimuli aggressively. I always have. I know that I respond to situations probably in a, in a negative fashion. I get that. I do. I started off really wanting Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off to do what I wanted to do. Okay, I got delayed two days. I, well, actually, it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But you know what? You don't get what you plan for. So I'm going to... I'm still going to do everything I want to do. It's just going to take a little longer, maybe five or six days. Who knows? Everything happens for a reason. Maybe I was going, maybe I went through all this BS yesterday. It started yesterday. I didn't even tell you what happened yesterday. Yesterday was when I was supposed to, supposed to actually start doing all this. But, you know, I don't feel like walking backwards. I'm moving forward. Maybe silver liner here right now. Maybe it was just to do this video. Maybe there was somebody who needed to hear this video. You guys aren't the only ones going through it, I promise you. I go through it all the time. I know a lot of YouTubers are putting off this false facade that their life is just hunky-dory and everything's going great and it's all good and they got this badass car and bad, all badass, you know, mate, whoever their lover is. And, uh, they like to show all the zeros on their bank accounts. You know what I mean? I, I know these guys. And every video they do is from exotic places and self-help videos, law of attraction videos and shit. Man, let me tell you something, man. That, that's all bullshit. Total bullshit. I know that little Asian dude but drives around everywhere in a Lamborghini. He's got a whole he's got a whole crew set up. I said, look, man, the people already came for money. Don't believe that bullshit. And I even have a I even have a couple videos that explain why YouTubers that do nothing but law of attraction videos appear to be successful and, and to a limited degree they are successful because they're selling hope to people who are needing help and it's a feedback loop and I, I give excellent examples of what's going on uh, yeah, there's a dynamic they're tapping into and yes it works for them but they're, they're not they're not trying they're not transferring that success to, to their listeners all they're doing is attracting desperate people so in recognizing my own flaws I understand that it's my reaction to all the stimuli, unexpected stimuli, that has really caused other negative influ influences to be introduced into my life today. I get that. I understand. I'm not even. I'm not even messed up about it. But uh, it's just so crazy how today has been. And it started yesterday, actually. But when I'm done today, when I get home today, finally, nothing else to do. When I'm done here, I'm gonna help him out go back home and y'all are going to see me on archaics tonight i know i know matt's got some posts ready he's waiting on me i like to post in tandem although he sometimes goes off on his own on his own does a bunch of stuff <laughs> but we have some already lined up that we're going to do we try to keep them we try, we try to keep them by theme if you notice a lot of our posts they are uh, they're not they're not entirely dissimilar So basically, we don't have anything else to say in this video. Don't want to, don't want it to make don't want the video to go longer than necessary. So we introduce negativity in our lives. We, I mean, what happened to me was entirely my fault. But you can know 
but there are absolutely days in your life that are operative when nothing you do can go wrong. Everything you attempt goes right. You have to isolate those days. Today was not one of those days for me. Today, I woke up in a positive attitude, but there were other dynamics involved that, that instantly just got in my way and got in my way. And then I allowed it to change the polarity of my day. I, I did that. That's okay. The day is not over. So this is Jason. I hope this helps somebody. If I don't see a lot of activity on this video, I, I'll, I, I'll take that as a, maybe rants aren't really good to do. I'll just delete it. <laughs>